room as a venue to share the stories uh, of uh, uh, scientists and communities that are working together to better off uh, the lives of people across the world. Uh, Duke University has a very important institute that deals with uh, issues of global health and public health worldwide. Uh, last year, the festival was uh, uh, taking special attention to, to Africa uh, in, in uh, some, some how responding to the Ebola event that was taking place there. Uh, and this year they decided to um, turn their eyes to the Americas. Uh, you know, from a global perspective, they would say that uh, the Americas um, is a place uh, with uh, many challenges. Uh, but uh, to start with, uh, we were facing uh, this new uh, threat through the epidemic of Zika. And, and uh, when they approach people in other units of Duke, like the Center for Black American and Caribbean Studies, where I work, uh, the idea was to try to put together something that will tell the stories of uh, culture and health in the world. And that's the exercise for this year. Uh, trying to show the film, uh, uh, fictional and documentary film, uh, uh, some of uh, the experiences, uh, historical experiences of uh, health in the Americas. Uh, this uh, selection of films is very tough to put it together, uh, I can say. We are dealing with historical issues uh, from um, uh, issues of uh, public health, the construction of the public health system in the Americas, uh, to traditional medicines, uh, to uh, the many uh, practices traditional medicines uh, across the Americas. Remember that the Americas still have one of the most diverse populations in, in, in the planet. Uh, hundreds of hundreds of indigenous nations are still living within the context of uh, national uh, projects and uh, they are still practicing their own uh, ways of getting better. Uh, they, they call it uh, Fats to uh, get well in, in, in Quechua, as we are going to watch today, they call it Sumac uh, Kausai, uh, well uh, at being, or uh, a way to be better, or as we will see in one of the films from the Maya world, Sac Bay, a, a path uh, of well being. Then there are ways to think about health uh, that are not uh, crossed by. by medicine in particular, by, uh, but also by the culture. And that's what we want to offer to you uh, in this book as well. Tonight's film is a very special uh, treat, I might say. Uh, this is a historical film. It's a 1969 film. Uh, it is one of uh, the jewels of what is called the third cinema, or the cinema of the poor, uh, or the cinema of the third world. Uh, it was, uh, some sort of denomination that was given to the practices of filmmakers in the 1960s and 70s in, in Latin America because of their approach to cinema that was not first cinema, not Hollywood, not second cinema, outdoor cinema uh, of, of Europe, but a third way to look at problems. This particular film, Yawar Manku, the Law of the Condor, the Sagre del Condor, uh, it uh, was part of a series of films uh, made by a group of filmmakers that, that they call themselves Ukamao. Uh, Kamao is, is, is a Quechua word that means uh, working together. Quechua's uh, will also call it Ninga. Uh, this film was workshopped with the community that uh, is, is featured in the film. Uh, they created the, the script together, they uh, created the storyline together, and they uh, put the film together. Uh, all of the actors are natural actors, all of the locations are real locations, and the topics that they were addressing were the topics uh, that the community wanted to address. Uh, the leader of this uh, group, Kamal, his name is Jorge Sanchez, still alive and well, producing films in Bolivia. 
We just saw uh, his last uh, two uh, major films uh, in 2015 and 2016. We're going to show one of those in the Lateral Film Festival later this year. Uh, always dealing with the, with the issue of uh, the indigenous peoples of the Andes and their struggle for recognition and participation in, the, in, in this uh, construction of the modern stage. They talk about the lives of people that are still present with us today, uh, that have been somehow stripped from their culture and their city because they are not even considered citizens, and uh, uh, the ways of resistance. And in this film, we'll see some of these major topics that Third uh, Cinema uh, was uh, dealing with uh, since the 60s to today uh, in, a, in a very special manner. I want to uh, uh, give some uh, uh, words of recognition to uh, the organizers of this uh, uh, series of, of, of films that we are just celebrating uh, with, with this first film today. Uh, to the Good Global Health Institute, to the Health Humanities Lab, to the Franklin Humanities Institute, to the Center for Latin American Studies, the major sponsors, uh, to the Good Libraries, uh, thank you because they are being very uh, 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 grateful and, and supportive of this. Actually, this film is from the archives of the uh, media uh, library at Duke. Uh, we're going to uh, uh, watch the film in 16 millimeters, uh, and, and that's a special treat. That we are very pleased uh, to that and to the library to helping us to put this thing together too. To the Trend Center, to the Law School, to the Center for Documentary Studies. Uh, for the Gender, Sexuality, and Independence Studies uh, uh, Department for the, uh, to the Brazil Lab and the Spanish Language Program. And in the special, to people like Hanko Kisaki, uh, who runs the Spring Society uh, and the Arts of the Moving Image, uh, and is always in the backstage making these things possible. To Thomas Johnson uh, from the Health Humanities Lab, uh, to Joe Bollinger, who is organizing our uh, first. Uh, uh, Global Health Student Film uh, uh, Festival, to Betsaida Fernandez, uh, and to Kirsty Stewart, uh, the co curators of, of the series. Uh, my name is Miguel Rojas Otello, and uh, thank you for being here.